Hi everybody, it's Maria Willis from Cardbomb.com and I'm excited to be here with Tonic Studios today to give you a closer look at Crackle Moose. This is the third type of moose that Tonic has added to their Nouveau Moose range. As it dries, it crackles, giving you a textured, gorgeous finish. There are eight new colors in this product line, ranging from soft and lush to striking and bold. Tonic Studios first released the Embellishment Moose, followed by the Expanding Moose. Now we have the Crackle Moose. The first two mooses were released in round packaging, and the Crackle Moose is in octagonal packaging, which makes it easy to distinguish from the first two mooses. When you open up your Crackle Moose, you'll see that it has a silver foil lining to help your product stay fresh. I like to leave that silver foil inside of my packaging, and additionally, if you're looking for another way to keep your product airtight, you can add a layer of press and seal inside of your lid just to make sure that no air can get into your product. So now that we've taken a quick look at packaging, I want to compare the Crackle Mousse to some of the previous mousses. This is an embellishment mousse, and you can see as I work it with my palette knife that it's very thick and that it requires a little bit of working before you spread it. In contrast, the Crackle Mousse is very buttery and creamy. It almost has a whipped texture, and it doesn't need any working before you spread it. Using this crackle mousse actually reminds me of frosting a cake, especially with this palette knife that I'm using. You can see as it goes on to this paper that it just goes super silky and smoothly, just like when you're frosting a cake. So now I wanna give you a look at the eight different colors. And this sample is done on watercolor paper. And you can see that there was almost no warping. I put the product on really, really thick just because I wanted you to be able to see the difference in the texture. The thicker that I put it on, the larger the crackles are, so you can see that in the bottom of each square, and the thinner that I put the product on, the finer the crackles are. So at the bottom of the samples, it's more of like a Sahara Desert parched earth type of look, and at the top of the samples, you're seeing more of like a fairy wing, a dragonfly wing type of look. It's really subtle and really beautiful. My second two samples are both done on lighter weight cardstock, and you can see that using the watercolor cardstock made a huge difference in the final result. So if you plan to apply a thick application of this product, I recommend using watercolor paper to prevent warping. Now I want you to check out how great this product looks on black cardstock. I love how shimmery they are, and I love the way that the colors just pop off of the black background. Now I wanna give you a close up look of each of the different colors. This is Pink Gin, and I did the samples on watercolor paper, and I brushed them on, this is Ivory Coast, just with a dry paint brush. This is Chameleon Green, Celestial Blue. I love this fine crackle look that we're getting with all of these samples where I applied the product more thinly. This is Misty Mauve, and Egyptian Gold. I love this one, it's so rich and beautiful. Russian white, which is my favorite color, and I'll tell you why as we go along through this video, and wrought iron, which is black. Now, Tonic Studios makes quite a few different tools that make applying this crackle mousse very easy. The first one I wanna show you are these Nouveau Media spatulas. These are spatulas that have silicone heads and they are flexible heads, so it makes it really easy to apply. This is a palette knife with a flexible metal top, and that's actually my favorite tool. Um, and also I found that these Nouveau paintbrushes are really great for applying product as well. So those last samples that you saw were all applied with a flat brush, just like this one. Okay, let's grab a piece of paper, some pink gin crackle mousse, and one of those media spatulas so I can show you how they work. You just dig a little bit out and smear it onto your paper just like that. You can also use these spatulas with stencils. So you just saw one of the two spatulas, and this is the second one. They're just different shaped heads, um, and they're both very easy to use for applying the crackle mousse. So this time I'm just applying it over a stencil, and let's take a look at what that's gonna look like when I pull the stencil up. There we go. And you can see that these uh, mousses stencil very well. So now I'm gonna use the Russian white and I'm just gonna use this metal palette knife to apply some of the product onto this acrylic block. Now I'm gonna grab one of those flat brushes that I showed you before and I'm going to use it to paint some of the product onto a piece of cardstock. 
This is a really easy way to get even thin coverage if you're trying to go for that thinner, fine crackle look that looks a little bit more like fairy wings. So this is what it looks like before it dries, and after it dries, it looks like that. So you can see that very subtle textured finish. Um, drying time varies depending on how thick you put this product on and what your climate is. In order to clean your brush out, all you need to do is dip it in some water, swish it around, and dry your brush off on a paper towel. It's really all you need to do, so that's easy cleanup. Now, back to this metal palette knife, which I mentioned is my favorite one. Part of the reason why I like it is because I can turn it on its side and work with a larger piece of my stencil than I can with, this, with the other spatulas, which have a smaller surface area. So for this particular sample, I started out with Russian white, and now I'm on to Celestial Blue, and I'm gonna go next into Misty Mauve. And I wanted to show you that you can blend the colors very easily just by applying them side by side. So I've just gone one color, second color, third color, um, I didn't bother cleaning my palette knife as I as I blended them together because I was once again trying to blend them together and here's how that looks I really love I really love how easily they blend and how smoothly they went together now I let that sample dry overnight and by the next day this is what it looked like it's so cool now so far I've only shown you what the crackle mousses look like applied directly to paper, but I want to show you that they can also be applied to backgrounds that already have color. So I went ahead and watercolored that background with my Nuvo Aquaflow pens, and now I'm using Russian white through a stencil and just covering that entire background. And what's really neat about this is through that Russian white color, you're going to still see some of the background color come through the crackle mousse. So this is what it looks like immediately after and by the next day, this is what it's gonna look like. So that Russian white color does allow some of the color from the background to peek through, and that's one of the reasons why this Russian white is my favorite color. So now I'm gonna use that same Russian white, and I'm just gonna paint it over another watercolor background, and I am going multi-directional just to make sure that I have full coverage, and then I'm just gonna go up and down all the same direction so that my brush strokes are in the same direction. This is what it looks like when the crackle mousse is wet. And just a few hours later, this is what it looks like. You have the fine crackle texture with some of that watercolored background pulling through. And that is why I love that brush and white color. So I always like to experiment when I get a new product and just see what different things I can, I can make happen with it. So I decided to take the wrought iron crackle mousse, pack it full of gold gl glitter, and see what would happen. And it was really interesting because what happened was that glitter acted like a binding agent and the mousse didn't crackle. So I just thought I would tell you guys, if you pack it full of, of glitter, um, it looks amazing, it's so beautiful, but you might lose that crackle effect. The next thing I tried was watercoloring with the crackle mousses. I just added a couple of drops of water to a little bit of crackle mousse, and what I found was that thinning it down meant that I lost the crackle effect. So it did work for watercoloring, but I didn't get a whole lot of texture. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that too. So. Now I wanna show you my absolute favorite technique, and this is hands down why Russian white is my absolute favorite. I love when products have endless versatility, and that is what we are getting with Russian white because it allows for us to create custom colors of our choice. So I grabbed a couple of these Nuvo Aquaflow markers, which are pens that have barrels filled with ink, pigmented ink color, and I decided I was gonna make my own colors. So I put a little bit of the Russian white crackle mousse onto um, an acrylic block and then I just squeezed my aquaflow pens until I had a little bit of color squirting out the tips and um, I'm just going to mix those colors into the crackle mousse. Now this first color that I'm mixing up is called True Turquoise. The number is 923 and it's one of my favorite colors to watercolor with. It is one of the colors that I used on the watercolor backgrounds that I showed you previously. The second color is Indigo Dawn and it's 903N and I just love how rich and luxurious that color is. So now that I've gotten both of these colors mixed up, I want to show you that they both have retained all of the iridescent beauty that these crackle mousses have. And let's check out what these look like um, when I put them on some paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and smear some of that indigo dawn color and now some of that true turquoise. These colors are both so gorgeous and when they dry, they crackle just as if they were an original color. So feel free to mix and match your colors and um, create new colors that will match whatever project you happen to be working on at the time. So now I just wanted to show you that you can use these um, 
these custom colored crackle mousses the same way you can the regular ones. So I'm just using them over a stencil here. And again, I'm blending the colors together. I'm not paying a lot of attention to how they're going down. I'm just making sure that I get full coverage over the whole stencil and that I blend um, the colors as I go along. So as I remove the stencil, you're gonna see that they blend, the colors blend beautifully. Here's how they look before the colors dry. And here's how they look after the product does dry. So I love the way that the colors blended together. And I also love that shiny finish on all that fine crackled texture. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. I hope that you've had a good time taking a closer look at Nouveau Crackle Mousses with me. These products are now available at both Tonic Studios in the UK as well as Tonic Studios USA. And I hope that you might pick up a few and play with them on your own. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.